Manny, you sparred Mayweather, right? Tell us about that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wait, when was that? I mean, Recently? That was in 1997. 1997, okay. yeah. And he yeah, was, I can start uh, talking bad, bad stuff about him, and then he'll get his, get his attention. Ah, that white boy don't touch me, man. <laughs> yeah. And then get my million-dollar payday after all. It was one afternoon that they were looking for someone to spar with. They were at the gym. Like, I'd, I was at the gym with them lots. Like, we were we trained at this place called Nevada Partners all the time, and then one day they... They just wanted to spar. They needed need someone to spar with, and I jumped in for three rounds. I don't think Mayweather even had a title yet. Like this was '97 because he won the, he went to the '96 Olympics in, um, in uh, Atlanta, Georgia, and he did, bronze, I think right? he, he may have got a bronze. I, I think he got a bronze. You're right. He got a bronze, and then um, it was just sort of he was making his way up. He was only 130, smaller, really. You know, like he wasn't walking around at 130. He was probably 145 when we sparred, but you know, he's a smaller guy, and uh, yeah, I had a decent jab, and I was able to keep him at bay. And he's a smaller guy, and couldn't hit him really because you know the jabs were just out in the air and kind of keeping him at bay in a way. And and then when he wanted to open up, he did. <laughs> I never, I never dropped. Him. What was the age difference between the two of you? Quite a bit. I think he's only like 41, 42. So there's probably 10 years age difference oh okay, like he was okay. just a i think he was only 19 at the time right 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 and I'm friendly sure. guys so in in a gym like that you uh, guys friendly, friendly or enough. Is it yeah yeah Eagles. friendly cocky friend cocky right, friendly, right, right 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 cocky right. friendly yeah because he's right. the man and at 19 was right. he the man yeah oh yeah in his mind he always <laughs> had these big black dudes walking around with him too so and he'd always they'd always pull up in like an escalade and these guys were scary looking dudes, right? There was a guy named Paul Spatafora that he sparred with at the gym. He's a southpaw. He's a real friend. He was a world champion as well. And Paul Spatafora, he gave it to me with a man from what I saw in the gym. And Paul Spatafora unfortunately went on the wrong route and he got into drugs and everything like that. And I think the last I heard he was in prison because he... he shot his girlfriend or some crazy crap. I don't know. You can Google him, but... Demons. You know, a lot of these fighters, a lot of these fighters, like they're just whack jobs, man, because mm -hmm. they're so high run. There was another guy named Edwin Valario. He was a Venezuelan guy, and he was 27 and 0 with 27 knockouts, world lightweight champion. And he did this. He stabbed his, his wife to death. And wow. I guess she said the wrong thing. And uh, he was in prison, and then he, and then he hanged himself in prison. So. Oh. Demons, crazy, man. Yeah, demons. A lot of demons. Yeah. But a lot of it, thing. I think, is probably related to the drugs, right? 